At the end of November, an unofficial version of LinPeace showed up hosted in a raw text format at linpeace.sh. At the time, I made a short about this unofficial version and the sneaky extra line that was added in to log some details about the computer such as the machine ID, username, and present working directory and exfiltrate these out via curling it to a logging server. Since then, this script has long been taken down from linpeace.sh, and if you visit it now, you'll just see this picture from the security researcher that originally created this, outlining that he actually could have backdoored thousands of machines just in the few days that he was hosting this. One of the reasons I made this short was to outline the importance of auditing or verifying open source tools. I received a lot of good feedback about this shorts and most of the comments agreed with me. However, there were specific comments that I saw frequently repeated that I wanted to address. The first type of comment went something along the lines of, this is not very malicious itself. All it's doing is saving a username, machine ID, or present working directory. How can this be harmful? In and of itself, I think this is a really good question, especially for someone who's not familiar with how professional professional penetration tests work. If you were to run this script on your personal computer or maybe even a virtual machine and it logged back things like the machine ID or your username, I can see how you would not be concerned with that. However, if you were on a professional engagement performing a penetration test as a contractor or for a company fulfilling a contract and you were to run this script with this logging enabled, there's a chance that the customer's logging and their security tools are going to pick up this exfiltration going out to a random server. And at that point, they're probably going to engage with the penetration tester and ask, hey, is this you taking out this data? Why are you taking it out? Just want to make sure we're catching everything. And then it came out that they were running tools they didn't verify on their machine. Then the initial company asking for the pen test is probably going to be very upset. At the least, it's going to erode their trust in the penetration testing company. And at the worst, it may put them in breach of contract, either being fired or sued. So this is what I meant by that it's very important to audit open source tools before running them. If you're curious to learn more about what it's actually like to work as a penetration tester or ethical hacker, make sure to check out the TCM Security Academy in our Practical Ethical Hacking course or our Practical Junior Penetration Tester Certification. Thanks for watching.